Hey guys, it is 7.03. I got a car coming past really, really slowly, which is suspicious. And I've still got the uh, nightclub noise at the top of the road. Not sure what's happening with the cars outside. It's a bit weird. I think I got one coming in, one coming out. I don't know. I'm a little unsure. I'll keep the recording going just in case. I got a noise going on that way. I had a car coming down here and it hasn't passed yet as far as I can tell. It's like it came a third of the way down and stopped. Maybe. Not sure. But there's a noise over that way. I guess that could be a plane or a boat on the sea, maybe. That one's getting louder. Plane is possible. Helicopter, maybe. Don't know. A little bit weird, folks. A little bit weird. This car never came past. I might go and take a look. Just starting to get light. You gonna come with me? No, look, you, you stay there. He's Tina. Can you see Tina? There's my girl. In bed. I, uh, Fell asleep in the chair last night, guys, probably about nine o'clock. Woke up about five. Took the doggy out for a little walk at five because she missed her kind of midnight walkies that she likes. But here we are. <laughs> this lamp. It's a replacement for one stolen by the Guardia Civil. My friend Karen and her family. She bought me the original. And I, uh, what, three, four weeks later when they stole, when, when they stole it, she bought me a replacement. Thank you, Karen and family. Sorry that I had to happen. Bastards. Pure and simple. Now, yesterday I reached out to the mayor, one Eduardo Dolon. I'm not going to get into politics, folks. I'm not picking sides. I'm not choosing. I'm not doing party politics. The guy reached back. He's indicating that he wants his um, welfare what, minister, cabinet member, whatever word they use. He, he wants a welfare person to reach out to see what help they can give. I'm not too interested in any of that. 
I want to know what he's going to do about the fact that their police overreached, that they took possessions, they took my things. No court order, no paperwork, no receipts, no itemizing what they took, no appeals process, they just took shit. That's the state. That's government overreach. That's an abuse of a power, abuse of authority. They threatened to shoot my dog. They threatened to shoot my dog! Oh, we got a car coming past. Can we hear that? That's one leaving. That's okay, that's a neighbor leaving. I had one approaching and come about a third of the way down and stop before. But going back to my point. Eduardo Dolan. Your guardian civil took my belongings. Some of which were donated to me by your citizenry. Much of which was found by me next to bins and gathered and collected over time. But I was here. This is not abandoned stuff. This is not stuff just laying around in a street ready to be collected by bin men. Your guardian civil called in bin men, threatened me with arrest, told me, hey, let's go and see a judge, when the courts were closed. Threatened to shoot my dog. Clearly, if I'd stepped out of the bounds of my tent, I would have been arrested. And then they invited me to... Uh, Take anything inside that you want to keep. Otherwise, we're taking the rest away. Because it's a fire risk. Empty plastic bottles that were waiting to be refilled with water. My survival! Water bottles! What a fire risk. Green plastic furniture. Plastic chairs. My barbecue, gas barbecue, was a fire risk. Gas bottles, fire risk. Let me tell you about gas bottles. They survive house fires. You have to get a gas bottle that is full above 450 degrees centigrade before it's a fire risk. 450 degrees. Sat in a field with a bit of sunlight, not a fire risk. If gas bottles are a fire risk, then close down the fucking Repsol at the top of the road, you cunt. The Repsol up the road there has a few hundred gas bottles and each day a truck comes and takes them away. Close them down because fire risk. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting angry. My emotions are getting the better of me. As they have done a few times this last couple of weeks, I'm normally calm and rational. You did this to me. Eduardo. Get a grip of your Guardia Seville. They're out of control. They have a reputation. I'm sure you like the fact they have that reputation. Keeps people in their place, yeah? Makes them more pliable. I've had people contacting me saying, yeah, yeah, Policia Local, meh. 
they're manageable. They're 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 generally okay, but don't mess with the guardian. In a democracy, sir, the people should not be afraid of their police. The police should be afraid of the people. Your Guardia Seville told me Spain is not a democracy. And in the next breath, they told me too much democracy. Sir, any officer of the Guardia Seville expressing either of those two opinions does not deserve to be working in the Guardia Seville. They threatened to shoot my dog. They abused their power. They stole my possessions with no paperwork, no identification, no appeals process. And they told the world, live, that Spain is not a democracy or that Spain is too much of a democracy. What say you, Eduardo? Am I looking for help from your welfare man? Not really, sir. Not really. I'd rather not be living in a field. I'd rather not be surrounded by rats and mice. It's not ideal. But it appears to me that your government, that your Guardia Seville is packed with rats. I await your response, sir. Delta Mike, out.